Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is your tutor, Sir A. So ngayon, ang pag-uusapan naman natin ay kung paano ba ginagamit si Google Forms. Google Forms is a survey administration application that is included in the office suite of Google. So kasama ito ni Google Docs, kasama ito ni Google Sheet, kasama ito ni Google Slides. Usually, ginagamit natin ang Google Form kapag ka nakikreate tayo ng mga survey. Katulad halimbawa nito, we conducted a survey about the readiness of learners to flexible learning options ng aming paaralan. So gumamit kami ng Google Forms para maibigay namin ito sa aming mga learners ng school through online and they will just going to accomplish the form that we sent to them. Pero hindi lamang yon ang gamit ng isang Google Form. Doon sa aking video tutorial na ginawa about creating an online quiz in Google Classroom, so by going to my webpage, markaaroncreus.com slash video-tutorial, so dito sa video tutorial na ginawa kong ito, pwede tayong gumawa ng isang online quiz sa Google Classroom and that is actually using Google Forms. Now, Kunwari, hindi na tayo gagamit ng Google Classroom for us to create an online quiz. We will simply use Google Form. And we will going to set up the Google Form as an online quiz. So how are we going to do that? To do that, make sure you open your Gmail account. And then you go to Google Apps. And then click Forms. And then we will going to create a blank form. Now from here, Simply, kailangan nating ilagay yung file name ng form. Let's say, for example, module 1 quiz will be your file name. And then, for the title of the form, we have module 1 quiz, purpose, and background. So, you can put the form description. So, pwede nating ilagay na form description ay choose the best answer. For this example, ang gagamitin nating quiz ay yung post-test ng Module 1, Purpose and Background na kinundak na training ng CID about manuscript writing. So, we will going to have the five questions muna. So, how are we going to start? We just simply copy the first question. So, we will going to re remove the numbering because we can actually shuffle the items in our online quiz and then we have the choices just copy and paste and then make sure the type we will going to choose multiple choice why multiple choice it is because you have only one answer Paano kung meron tayong two or more answers? Instead of using multiple choice, ang gagamitin natin ay yung checkbox. So from here, ano ang kailangan natin gawin para ma-set up natin to into an online quiz and not just an ordinary survey form? So pupunta tayo dito sa settings and then we go to quizzes and make sure we click make this a quiz. And then after that, you can actually... Format this one. Ano ang gusto mong makita ng respondent? Gusto mong ipakita sa kanila yung miss question. That is okay. Correct answer, you may uncheck this one. And then point values, you may check this one. And then click save. Na kung mapapansin mo, makakaroon ngayon dito ng answer key. Why? Because you format now this form as an online quiz. So from here, if you click answer key, Pwede mo na ngayon piliin kung ano yung correct answer dito. So for example, number one, the correct answer is this item. And then, how many points you will going to put on this item? So just, so just simply put one and then click done. And then make sure this is click. After clicking done, make sure the required button is click so that the student should answer this item. After you're done with the first item, to add another test question, you simply click Add Question. And then, you copy the second question. Then remove the numbering because we will going to shuffle the items. And then add the option. Yes. 
you will notice that the option here for this item is checkbox. It is because there are two correct answers in this item. So for us to put the correct answer, you click answer key. And then the correct answer will be this one. Sorry. So since we have two answers for question number two, so we will going to put two points for this item. And then click done. And then make sure na itong required button ay nakaklik para ang sudyante ay hindi cut, pwedeng mag-skip for this item. At hindi makiklik ang submit button unless sinagutan nila yung mga items na required. So just finish placing all the questions and the correct answer in this online quiz by clicking the add question and then finish placing all these items up to number 5. So once you're done placing all the items in this online quiz, make sure that each item has the correct answer key and there is a corresponding point. And then make sure the required button is click. Now after checking all the items, we will going to click settings. And then from here, if you want to collect email addresses of your students, just click this box and then Click response receipt if you want your student to receive the result of the quiz. For this requires sign in, the checkbox restrict to users in Department of Education and its trusted organization. Once it is checked, other users cannot be able to access this online quiz unless ang gagamitin nila ay yung kanilang debit email. So kapag ka gumamit sila ng kanilang personal Gmail, hindi nila maa-access ang online quiz na to. So, para maiwasan ng ganung problema, you uncheck this box. And then, you can click this box to limit to one response only to every user. And then, respondents can, can they be able to edit after submit? So, we remain and check this one. And see summary charts and text responses? Remain this unchecked. And then, if you go to presentation tab, do you want to show progress bar as the students answer the quiz or not? So for this example, this is not necessary. Now, if you want to shuffle the question order, we can check this one. Meaning to say, every user may have different arrangement of the questions. And then, in the quizzes tab, make sure this is turned on because this is an online quiz. And then, if you want to release grade immediately after its submission, so this is selected. And ano ang gusto mong makita ng mga respondent or ng mga user or ng sudyante? So, kapag ka naka-check ito, meaning to say, makikita nila kung ano yung question na mali sila. And then, malalaman nila kung ano ang points na meron sila. If this is unchecked, meaning to say, your student will not be able to see what is the correct answer. For that miss item. Then after that, click save. So now your online quiz is ready for distribution. If you want to see a preview of this online quiz, you just click preview. This will be the kind of the form that your student will see. So once you give the link to your student, so they will going to have this kind of display. Now, for example, you want others to edit this online quiz. Kunwari, ako ay grade 1 teacher and then meron akong mga colleagues in grade 1 and you want them to edit your work. So, pwedeng mangyari yon. you need to add them as collaborator. So, paano? Just click this more options and then add collaborators. Let us say, for example, si Ma'am Noemi ay isang grade 1 teacher. So, gusto mo siyang magkaroon ng access dito sa quiz mo, you just type her email address and then make sure she is an editor. Meaning to say, she can edit this online quiz. And then click send for her to be notified. Sa ngayon, kung gusto mong malaman naman ang mga scores ng iyong mga studyante who answered this online quiz, you just simply go to responses. And then from here, makikita mo dito na may button na create spreadsheet. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng option na ito? Meaning, meaning to say, all the results of the students who took this quiz 
will be placed in this spreadsheet. So kapag ka ang mga mag-aaral mo ngayon ay nagsagot na sa kanilang quiz using this form, lahat ng scores nila will be placed here in this Module 1 Quiz Responses Google Sheet. So for you to see the scores of every student who took the quiz. Again, para malaman yon, you go to Responses and then you click this one. Now, make sure this Accepting Responses is turned on. Why? Because if this is off, your students cannot have the access to take this quiz. So make sure once you want your students to answer this quiz, this is always turned on. And then if all your students have answered already the quiz, so you can just turn it off so, so that no one will be able to access this quiz anymore. So for this example, we remain this turned on. So you're done. Placing the questions in your online quiz, you're done checking whether you have the correct answer and then you have the corresponding point. You're done checking also that all the items, the required button is clicked so that the student should answer every item. And then you're done also formatting the settings of this online quiz. So you're now ready to give this online quiz to your student by clicking send and then go to the link tab and then click copy after that you paste this link to the group chat where your students are included and they can start answering this online quiz so that is how you create an online quiz using google forms and you can collect all the scores of your students by creating a Google spreadsheet from their responses.